Hi guys, welcome to today's session. Thank you all for your responses on yesterday. And our yesterday's quiz question was to name the e-governance initiative of Ministry of Corporate Affairs, which enables easy and secure access of corporate ministry's services. And it is called MCA 21. That is the right answer. Let's start today's session. First question with reference to Nidhi program, National Initiative for Developing and Harnessing Innovations. Consider the following statement. Statement 1. It is launched by Department of Science and Technology. Statement 2. It aims to promote student startups. Which of the above statements is are correct? Option A 1 only, Option B 2 only, Option C both 1 and 2 and Option D neither 1 nor 2. So guys the correct answer here is it is both the statements are correct. So it is C both 1 and 2. Nidhi is a program by Department of Science and Technology. It aims to promote ideas and innovations into successful startup and mainly student startups. And under Nidhi, there is one program called Prayas, promoting and accelerating young and aspiring innovators and startups. This has been initiated in which established technology business incubators are supported with Prayas grant. So this program aims to facilitate and enable a minimum of 100 innovators annually across the country in translating their ideas into prototype through funding support. It aims to set up prayer centers in the country to provide this funding support. And this was in news related to a new technology adopted by hospitals in Maharashtra in their fight against COVID-19. The technology was developed by a Pune-based startup and the product is called SciTech Iron. It is a negative ion generator and air purifying technology to disinfect state hospitals. And this technology has been developed under uh, this Nidhi Prayas program. So that was in news. We'll now move to second question for the day. Second question is with reference to ways and means advances by RBI, consider the following statement. Statement 1. They are temporary loan facilities provided by RBI to the government. Statement 2, it is free of interest rates and statement 3, the limits of WMA are mutually decided by RBI and the government of India. Which of the above statements is are correct? Option A, 1 and 3 only, option B, 2 and 3 only, option C, 1 only and option D, 1, 2 and 3. So guys, they have interest rates, so statement 2 is wrong. So our answer is option A, 1 and 3 only. So here when sometimes central states needs money, Reserve Bank of India gives temporary loan facilities to central state governments. In fact, RBI provides several types of loans to central states and this ways and means advances is a temporary loan facility. That is the key word. It is a mechanism to provide to states to help them solve temporary mismatches in cash flow of their receipts and payments. And it was introduced on 1997. Before that, the means used to finance the central government deficit was treasury bills and ways and means advances put this to an end. And the time period for ways and means advance is 90 days and the interest rate for WMA is currently charged at repo rate which is basically the rate at which RBI lends short term money to banks and that rate is currently 4.4 percentage and the limits for WMA that is how much amount they can withdraw that is mutually decided by RBI and government of India and if government wants more money than their WMA limits then the measure is overdraft facility and the interest for such overdraft is 2 percentage points above the repo rate which now works to 6.4 percentage and guys our today's quiz question is who decides repo rates in India as we said earlier repo rate is the rate at which RBI lends short term money to banks. So who decides repo rates in India? Please post your answers in the comment section. We will now move to last question for the day. Sunrise mission recently seen in the news is related to option A solar power initiative by government of Gujarat. Option B the mission for the development of asset attack victims. Option C measures to revamp economy in northeast and option D mission by NASA to study about sun so guys the correct answer here is it is option d mission by nasa to study about sun so it is a mission of nasa 
and this mission sun radio interferometer space experiment or simply sunrise nasa is copying our way i guess in this acronym formation and this is to study how sun generates and releases giant space weather storms into planetary space and the sunrise is an array of 6 cube sats operating as one very large radio telescope and the launch is expected by 2023 and nasa believes that information from this mission will also help determine what initiates and accelerates these giant jets of radiation so that will be helpful in understanding solar system more closely so that's it that's all for today guys please post answer to the quiz question and your scores in the comment section we'll meet tomorrow with another set of questions thank you for watching